first to acknowledge the comprehensiveness, the depths of the relationship between uh, ASEAN and China. Second, it also provides an important moment for ASEAN and China to kind of chart the future direction together. What are the things that we can uh, do together? Uh, of course, uh, when it comes to uh, promoting prosperity, that is our common good. And we can see, you know, from our years of efforts that just, you know, uh, bear uh, important fruits in uh, recent years. Uh, we've been working together on, you know, promoting trade for uh, many years. We had this uh, ASEAN-China Free Trade Agreement uh, started uh, since 2010 and because of this, uh, the trading uh, relation between ASEAN and China becomes uh, stronger and stronger. Uh, over the past 14 years, uh, ASEAN, China has always been ASEAN largest trading partners. Uh, and over the past three years, uh, ASEAN has also been uh, China largest trading partner. So the two-way trade between ASEAN and China now almost reach one trillion US dollars. And there's more that we can do to increase that uh, two-way trade between uh, ASEAN and China. Of course, uh, when it comes to uh, investment, uh, China has also a very strong position in supporting the ASEAN member state. Uh, in investing in some of the critical uh, sector, for example, infrastructure. Uh, but the relationship between ASEAN and China uh, do not just you know, limit to the economic front. We've been also working very closely together uh, in the social cultural uh, sphere uh, as well. And here we are talking about education, health, disaster management, uh, you know, uh, poverty eradication, environment. And all of these sectors are also in a very strong uh, position in good shape and with the comprehensive strategic partnership I think there will be more uh, cooperations on this uh, area uh, as well. So what I can say is that uh, we enjoy enduring and strong uh, partnership over the past decades and now with the comprehensive uh, strategic partnership it provides you know an even more brighter future uh, for uh, ASEAN and China uh, partnership. Uh, we have the uh, plan of actions uh, adopted. We have the annex to the plan of actions adopted. We also work together on a number of key documents, for example, the uh, celebration of the 20th anniversary of China setting to the uh, Treaty of Amity and Cooperation. We are now working on you know, the joint statement on the uh, promoting of uh, synergy between the uh, bilateral initiative and the ASEAN outlook on the Pacific. And all of this will you know, form a critical part in moving our relationship to a new height. And I'm very confident that you know the uh, relationship between ASEAN and China will continue to be stronger, deeper, and mutually beneficial for both for both of us. Since the inception of the uh, Balanced Road Initiative, uh, Cambodia, you know, expressed our strong support for this uh, initiative because we believe that. The Balanced Road Initiative will, brought, will bring uh, a lot of benefits you know, to participating country. And as we can see, uh, over the past 10 years, uh, the BOI has lived up to its expectations. Uh, I think the strength of the Balanced Road Initiative is the focus on practical cooperations and concrete projects. As a result, we can see many of these uh, major projects uh, springing up uh, in the regions and also outside uh, the region. Uh, of course, uh, the uh, Berlin Road Initiative is not just about uh, you know, uh, building infrastructures or promoting financial cooperations uh, or uh, enhancing people-to-people -people contacts uh, and so on, but I think the uh, Berlin Road uh, Initiative now uh, continue to play a bigger role in terms of you know, promoting uh, developments and uh, reducing poverty, uh, you know, uh, sustaining the uh, planet uh, and so on. I think with this uh, bigger uh, mandate going forward, I'm sure the uh, Berlin Road Initiative will continue to uh, be one of the uh, important uh, tools uh, for uh, China's and also uh, country in Southeast Asia to work together to advance uh, many, of all, uh, many of those causes. Uh, as for Cambodia, we can uh, see clearly uh, the benefits that we uh, get from the uh, Balladro Initiative through the constructions of 
important uh, infrastructure projects, and these infrastructure projects are critical to sustaining strong economic growth and for our future uh, going forward. Uh, of course, uh, again, as I mentioned earlier, it is not just about infrastructure, but also our cooperation in the development of special economic zone and the uh, inflow of uh, Chinese investment uh, to support the development of this uh, infrastructure, uh, to, to, to support uh, this uh, special economic zones to provide a strong basis for us to modernize our economy uh, and so on. So again, uh, over the past 10 years, the uh, Belt and Road uh, Initiative has delivered a lot of uh, positive development for countries in the region through concrete and practical uh, cooperation projects, as we can see, uh, that are springing up in the regions and outside the region. And I'm sure uh, in the next 10 years, uh, the role of the Belt and Road Initiative will grow even uh, more and will contribute even more to not just the uh, economic developments, but also many other fields of uh, development uh, as well. For example, when it comes to human security or sustainable planet uh, and so on. Of course, China continues to play very important roles in Cambodia economic development and tourism is one of the major uh, sectors among others. Uh, before COVID, uh, many uh, Chinese uh, friends uh, went to Cambodia for a visit. Uh, they spent a lot of uh, money on the uh, local economy and that helps a lot in terms of improving, uh, improving the well-being of our people uh, and helping you know, to get people out of extreme poverty and so on. But because of COVID-19, uh, with the travel restrictions and so on, the tourist uh, sector faced so many challenges. Now we are you know, in the uh, post-COVID uh, situation and uh, during the uh, visit of our leaders last time to China, uh, there was this strong commitment uh, from our Chinese uh, friends that in the coming years, there will be more and more Chinese uh, going to uh, Cambodia as part of this broader tourist uh, cooperation uh, framework between uh, Cambodia and China. So I'm confident going forward uh, with the uh, stability, peace and uh, prosperity in our country and also the improvement in the facilities and also the emergence of new uh, sectors and services that would you know, uh, provide uh, for our uh, Chinese tourists, then there will be more uh, coming uh, to support uh, our economy. Of course, even now, I think we welcome a growing numbers of Chinese tourists uh, to Cambodia already. But then again, I mean, we always have this ambition that we can continue to increase the numbers as much as possible.